Welcome to a new Alfresco video. We are talking to, today about deploying a custom Alfresco transfer service for both community and enterprise versions. So Alfresco is providing by default some transformation options that are relying on different arch architectures depending on the version of the product. So the legacy transformer, that was the, the first one uh, mainly uh, deployed with Alfresco 5.2, it's executing locally Java classes in order to get all that transformations done. From Alfresco 6.2, we have two different uh, transformer architectures that are named the local transformer and the transformer or asynchronous transformer. The local transformer is executed as a different application. It's a standalone Spring Boot service and is delivering transformation by using HTTP invocations. And the second one, the asynchronous transformer that is only available for Alfresco Enterprise is uh, executing again this application as an Spring Boot service, but transformation are delivered by using the active and queue, um, queue with, the, with the messages. So these are all the three different architectures for the Alfresco uh, transformation service. And depending on your version, you may uh, choose one or the other in order to create your custom transformer. So for instance, if you are planning to create a transformation for, uh, for OCR, we are going to see a sample on that on this session. Then you need to create your custom code. So uh, for that, if you are using a legacy on this deployment, you have the Alfresco that is relying on that Java classes and you are installing on the same Alfresco uh, server all the software that is required for uh, the transformation. So the LibreOffice, Imagimagic, Apache Tika and, and the P PDF render that is based in PDFume. So, if you want to create your custom uh, transformer, then you need to extend this class and install additional software if required on the Alfresco server in order to provide this new transformation. Remember also that Solar6 is using the transformation service to extract the test from inside the documents and to index that on search services on the Solar index. When we are moving to the local transformer that is available for both community and enterprise from version 6.2, in this case, we need to deploy a new service in order to uh, create our custom logic uh, for the transformation. By default, we have that uh, core all-in-one that is including all the different transformation services, again, for LibreOffice, Apache Tika, uh, PDF rendering, and Imagimic. And this transformation is requ requested by HTTP. So if you want to create a new one, then you need to create a new transform uh, service. Uh, you need to create your uh, local um, URL with your HTTP, and you need to uh, implement uh, some uh, methods uh, in your Spring Boot application in order to provide required uh, transformation. And if we are moving to the asynchronous transformer, to the transformer only available for enterprise, then in this case, you can see that we have more uh, components. We have that transform router. We have also the shared file store. And we have a coordination by using the active NQ service in order to produce the, um, the transformations required, again, relying on LibreOffice, Apache Tika, ImageMagic, and uh, the PDF renderer. So in this case, we need uh, this additional transform router, also this shared file store, and uh, we are also relying on that transfer core uh, all in one. So in this case, again, if you want to create a custom uh, transformer, then you need to create your own Spring Boot application with the uh, required uh, transformation operations. And you just need to add this new uh, service to the transfer router. We are going to see that in detail from now, but let's uh, check before the compatibility with the different ACS versions. So the legacy transformer, it's available in ACS 5.2 uh, to ACS 
but is not available in 7.x. The local transformer and the transformer, the asynchronous transformer, are available from 6.2 and they are still available in 7.x. So uh, if you have some Houston legacy transformer, then you need uh, to migrate this transformer if you want to upgrade to ACS 7.x. As I said before, let's move on to the demo just to see uh, how the implementation of these uh, local transformers and asynchronous transformers uh, uh, can be done. Uh, we are focusing on this sample project, this ALF T engine OCR. So this project is available on GitHub. You have all the source code. And this project is providing an OCR transformation for documents that are including uh, PDF uh, images. And, and we are extracting the test with this action. So in this case, we are just uh, using the local transformer deployment. So we are adding the, the service we are, are uh, creating, this transform OCR. We are adding this as an alfresco environment variable. And we are creating this new service on the Docker Compose deployment. You can uh, check all this uh, deployment on the project. And also you have a Docker Compose this Docker Compose template as reference, including all these uh, variables of the settings we were talking before. So let's move to the practical part and let's deploy this one just to see that is working as expected. So once we have deployed this Docker Compose, the Docker Compose of the folder of the Docker folder is running locally we can just check if that is working as expected. Remember that you also have like the, the hints of this configuration on the Redmi of the project. So this is mainly the configuration. Uh, remember again, your local URL, your service. And with that, uh, we can just check if the feature is working as expected. This specific feature is using some uh, OCR uh, tool that is uh, Tesseract. And this Tesseract is just creating this OCR uh, transformation. So we are going to create a rule. You have all these instructions, on, again, on the Redmi of the project. So we need to create a rule for that uh, with OCR, for instance. And in this case, we are uh, ended in properties as metadata in content. So this is the trigger for our uh, new uh, transformation engine. So once we have that, when we upload a document in this folder that is a PDF with text inside, so we are uploading a new uh, document. And uh, you can see that this uh, document um, has no text inside, so we are not able to search inside the document. But with the rule, with this transformation, we are going to be able to, to search. So uh, if we can search what, this is no uh, running. But after a time, we have the first version. And in this first version, let's wait a bit for it. This and 1.1 version. And after that, we are able to search in the document. So with that, we are checking that this uh, transformer is working fine with community edition using the local transformer. So that is fine. We are able uh, to uh, deploy our custom transformer uh, uh, using a local transformer for community. But this mechanism is not that uh, prepared for a production environment. So it works, but it has some um, space for improvements that are delivered by Axel Faust. So if you can check this project, it's exactly the same, Alfresco transform all-in-one, 
but it allows you to customize resources using properties. And that is important because by default, this is unlimited. So you can get out of resources if you load, for instance, uh, many, many different documents at the same time. So this is important. Also, this uh, project provides NTLS support out of, the, out of the box, so you can create your SSL connections. It's also providing a Graal uh, VM uh, in the Docker image, so it can be even more uh, performance than the default one. And it's not using Spring Boot, but a uh, lightweight HTTP server. So if you are expert in Alfresco and you are considering uh, to deploy uh, this uh, transformation service in a more professional way, then you can check this Axel Faust project. So the next thing will be to deploy the same uh, T-Engine, the same transform service for OCR, but this time using the uh, asynchronous transformer, the transformer relying in messages on ActiveQ that is only available for enterprise. In order to do that, you need to create some different configurations. So the first thing is to enable uh, the uh, transform service. Remember that in this case, if you are using Docker images, then probably you need uh, Quai.io credentials for that. So you need to get that for an Alfresco support. And then you need also to use this transform router service and the uh, SAR file store service. So within the transform router, we are linking our new transformer with the URL that is the same that we were using before and also with the uh, queue name that we are using in order to deliver all this transformation. For the uh, service itself, it's more or less the same thing, but also needs that connection with the active queue and with the file store URL. If we go back to the source code, then you have also the details of the configuration at this point with all the different um, details related to the source code. And we have also this Docker Enterprise folder with the deployment, so ready to be deployed and ready to be test, but for the um, uh, for the uh, transfer service that is using this asynchronous message. So I just uh, check it out the, the GitHub project. I'm stopping the previous one and I'm going to start this uh, new Docker enterprise. Remember that uh, you need some Quai.io credentials for that. So we are starting the Docker enterprise stack. And once this is ready, we can also check uh, the transformation is working as expected via using the ActiveNQ messages instead the HTTP. So just let, let's let wait uh, uh, one minute and we are going back with the demo. Now that Alfresco is up and ready, we uh, can create exactly the same configuration just to check that everything is working as expected. Remember that now we are using uh, Alfresco content services enterprise version, and we are uh, changing to the configuration that is relaying on the ActiveNQ on the asynchronous transformation service. So we are creating also a rule uh, with the name OCR, and we are selecting exactly the same, uh, the same action. So once we uh, upload a document, to this folder, it's going to be extracted all the text coming with the with the PDF. So exactly the same operation. And in the meantime, while the operation is performed, we can check that the queue has been created in ActiveNQ and that some events have been uh, are being populated on this queue. So remember that the name of the queue in our case was OCR engine queue. So if we were to the queues, we uh, should be finding that OCR engine queue with one uh, number of messages. And if we go back to Sir, 
then probably we are going to see how uh, this document has been processed. Let's check that again. So we have the message, the queue, so it has been uh, uh, consumed. So we have the 1.1 one, one version. And again, the transformation has been produced. So that was everything for today. We were reviewing all the different um, transform services architectures that uh, are available in the latest alfresco version we are also reviewing the different ways of uh, creating uh, or deploying a custom transformer to the uh, local transformer and to the asynchronous transformer and um, you just need to uh, to choose your way and remember that if you want to upgrade to ACS 7, then you need to migrate your custom transformers before uh, taking that upgrade. That was all. I hope it was useful and see you next time. Bye.